subscribe now and press the bell icon. Never miss an update. Hi friends, welcome to Manipal Kitchen. Today I would like to share the recipe of paneer masala restaurant style. Okay. So for that I have taken 200 grams of amul paneer cubes and I have taken it in a bowl and add 150 teaspoon salt to it. Let's and 1/4 teaspoon turmeric powder and 1/4 teaspoon chili powder. Just mix it so that all the paneer cubes are coated with the three ingredients well. Just shake it well. Now add two tablespoons of ghee to a pan and keep it keep it on low medium flame. When it is hot, add these uh, masala mixed cubes to it and fry for about eight to ten minutes till they are crispy and little brown and coated and still fried well look now it is fried so well and just turned brown after 10 minutes now let's prepare the masala powder for it so i'm adding peeled cardamom 3 one inch cinnamon piece to the mortar and pestle and then uh, 10 to 12 peppercorns it's organic and three cloves crush to a coarse powder and keep it aside now add two tablespoons ghee to a pan on low medium flame you keep and when it is hot add crushed powder to it see it's frying so well it, since it is hot now add one teaspoon cumin cumin seeds and it's crackling and by then you add three fourth cup of chopped onion to it finely chopped onion and fry well adding salt as needed to the dish now saute well till combined see onion has turned translucent in a span of three minutes now add one green chili finely chopped and one teaspoon ginger garlic paste mix well till combined and till it gets rid of the raw odor and turns aromatic now add half teaspoon turmeric powder 1 teaspoon red chilli powder, 1 teaspoon coriander powder and 1 fifth teaspoon cumin powder. Saute all till aromatic and combined for a minute on low flame. Now add a puree of 2 tomatoes. And saute it till combined with all the masala, onion, ginger, garlic, etc. For a while, that is for about half a minute. And then cover and cook for 2 minutes. Now 2 minutes is done. And let's check and see it is thickened and the oil is released. Look at how, the, how well the oil is released, right? Give a good mix to it. And add 1 tablespoon, already I have roasted and kept, roasted besanata and saute till aromatic in the i mean combining in them all the masala mix and aromatic turns aromatic add two tablespoons of thick curds give a good mix to it till it turns combined with the other ingredients now cover and cook for one minute so that it is cooked and sauteed well give a good mix again See how it is boiling, getting getting mixed and the color is changed. Now add 250 ml hot, wa hot water to it. For us, for it to the gravy. Give a good mix to it. Since it is hot, it will not take much time. And we can cover and cook only for 2 minutes. And after 2 minutes, you can see the mixture boiling as we have added boiling water. And flavors are absorbed. Now add fried paneer cubes to it mix again to combine well now it is necessary to cover and cook for two minutes at least as the paneer cubes should absorb the taste flavor see now it has turned so aromatic give a gentle mix so that the paneer cubes will not be will be undisturbed now add half teaspoon garam masala powder 
and 1 teaspoon kasuri methi to it. Give a good mix, but give a gentle mix actually. Now the dish is actually ready. Oh my god, smelling so good. Add coriander leaves as needed. And the dish is ready to ready now. Yummy paneer masala is ready to enjoy with chapati and roti. Please subscribe to my channel for new recipes and bye for now.